Hello, we are here with Commissioner John Herbst. This is our very first Commission Connection here in the city of Fort Lauderdale. Commissioner, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Thank you, Arlene. So I am the newly elected commissioner for District 1. District 1, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, covers the north end of Fort Lauderdale. It runs west out to Palm Air, comes all the way east out to the beach. We cover the Galt Ocean Mile, and then we run north-south up and down Bayview Drive, covering neighborhoods like Coral Ridge, Coral Ridge Country Club Estates, and all the way down to Sunrise Intercoastal. That's just a few of the many neighborhoods that make up District 1. All right, so District 1, Drive Pink Stadium is in that district, and there's been some progress on the park. You wanted to talk about that. I think that's a great topic that people want to hear about. So several years ago, we engaged with Miami Beckham for the construction of Drive Pink Stadium. We brought soccer to Fort Lauderdale, and as part of that agreement, they're supposed to build a park for the community. Unfortunately, we've run into a number of delays in getting that park done. We were hoping to make some progress and move forward. Sadly, the negotiations have broken down, but the uh, city is going to continue to move forward with the construction of the park. We are in design right now. We hope to bring something back to the commission within the next 30 days. And with luck, we'll be moving forward on that as soon as we can. That sounds like great progress, Commissioner. Very excited. We're yeah. going to have 16 pickleball courts because pickleball nice. is apparently one of the most popular sports in America. And we're going to create that destination not only for the residents of District 1, but for the entire city to come and enjoy that. Absolutely. A lot of people are going to be ex excited about the pickleball we think at so. that park. Turning to transportation, we hear that there might be a Lottergo vehicle expansion into District 1, which is so cool because these vehicles are not only convenient, but also eco-friendly. We've been working with Circuit to create micro-mobility transportation throughout the downtown, and it's been hugely popular. Their number of, uh, of patrons has gone from 7,000 in the first year to 42,000 in the second year. And I'm very excited about the prospect of bringing this option up to the residents in District 1, specifically if we can cover the Galt Ocean Mile area up to Lauderdale by the Sea, cover the entire beach, and then get that up and down commercial boulevard so that my residents have the opportunity to go to to the hospitals, the restaurants, the retail establishments up there without having to get in their cars. What we're trying to do is encourage people to get out of their cars, use other methods of transportation, and Circuit is a great opportunity for us to do that. Yeah, I've used it. It's just like a ride share, almost, you know, you just hit the app exactly. and it picks you up as and long it, as you're in the coverage area. And the best thing about it is it's point to point, which is what yes. really makes it a desirable option for people. It really is. And speaking of Galt Mile, there's some fun events going on with some local businesses there that we're supporting. So we're going to be starting our North Beach block parties on Sundays from 5 to 9 in front of Fishtails okay. on 33rd Street. Okay, One thing I do want to highlight is if you do come up for any of these events, you know, patronize the businesses on the 32nd and 33rd Street area. We've got a lot of great restaurants up there. We've got retail establishments. Uh, we've got an art gallery. So please come out, come enjoy it. Great food. Uh, great music and a great time in District 1. So looking forward to having you there. Oh, well, thank you for joining us. We're glad you could join us here today. My pleasure. Thank you so much.